Hey guys, Bill Carter from back again. Um, so, a lot of exciting stuff happening lately. Um, got a new camera angle, as you can see. Um, let me know if you like it or if you don't like it. Um, I'm open to any feedback. Also, got some smoke and mirror cards, which are quite awesome. I'm going to use them in the first video here. New camera, new, new cards. What can you do better? Well, um, basically, I've been away for a while. i got to apologise to... Magical Me 12321. Uh, this guy is fantastic. I want you guys to check him out. Today I've got for you a uh, tutorial to a trick of his, a mathematical trick. It's brilliant, but I haven't been able to get to the tutorial for a while, so sorry about that. Magical Me 12321. Hope I'm saying that all right. Um, I'll put a link to his channel and a link to his performance, and basically I'm going to quickly perform the trick and then show you how it's done. Okay, so I'll get into that. Basically, you may notice I've got a card sitting here under the box. I'm going to keep that there, my prediction. Okay, and that'll be, um, I'll get to that in a minute. For now, cut the deck a few times. Make sure we're all nice and mixed and everything. That should be fine. Alright, so we do have a deck in random order, as you can see, and what I need is three cards selected that'll help me with this trick. Okay, so... Um, and we're going to use their values. So if you get any picture cards, we'll count them as 10, aces will be ones, okay? So anyway, I'll get my spectator to say stop as I dribble, stop, right. that'll be fine, okay? And I'll take one, two, three cards, okay? So, you could have stopped at any cards. Wouldn't matter for now. For this trick, we'll be using the nine of hearts, the four of diamonds, and the jack of clubs. Okay, I guess that'll be a... That'll be a 10, okay? So, speaking of numbers 1 to 10, we've got a 4, a 9, and a jack, okay? All of them as, as such. Hope you can see that all right. Again, new camera angle. So, here's what I'm going to do for this, all right? I'm going to deal down three piles, and I'm going to stop dealing when I get to the value of each number. You'll see what I mean when I do it. Okay, so, we will go like, like this. One, two, three, that's one revolution, okay, one, two, three, that's the fourth card on there, so I'll continue dealing for these two, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's the ninth card on there, ninth card on there, sorry, so I'll stop, nine, ten, okay, so we've got four, nine, ten, all dealt out randomly, Ken could have chosen any card, let's just see what we've landed on here, so we have the Ace of Spades, the Ace of Clubs, and the Ace of Diamonds. If we just take a quick look at my prediction, I've got the fourth and final Ace, the Ace of Hearts. Fantastic trick, but it doesn't end there. Some people know, well, how did I, how did I get the Aces in, how did I get the Aces into that, that position? Well, it's simple, I knew you were going to choose those cards, because right next to the Four of Diamonds here on the bottom of the packet, I've got the Four of Hearts. Nine of Hearts, Nine of Diamonds, Jack of Clubs, you guessed it, Jack of Spades. So they all match perfectly. And in this box, just to add to this tricks effect, have a little prediction here. It says 25. And I'm pretty sure that'll be our leftover cards, remembering you could have chosen any number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. That's the trick, guys. Hope you liked it, and uh, I'll get into a tutorial. So basically, it's self-working. You just got to set it up a bit, okay? I'd, I'd advise taking a deck around stacked like this, okay? You need a four, nine, and a ten, and the four aces out, okay? So you're going to get out four aces. I'll leave them over here. A four, nine, and any card that equals ten. So I just took a jack. Alright, so that, you know, it looked a bit varied that you have a picture card in there. So, um, Magical Me, one, two, three, two, one, <laughs> it's fun to say. Um, he put a ten, but I ju I'm just using a jack, okay? So, four, nine, and jack in that order. On the top of the deck, you want to have the jack, the nine, then the four. So, the four's on top, then the nine. The smallest to largest is the way I remember it. Smallest on top, then second, then third, okay? The same goes on the bottom, except they can be in any order, okay? So you just whack them on the bottom. So you've got three on top, three on bottom. 
the 25 obviously just goes in the card box. All right, but best not to draw attention to that, okay, that you've got the 25 in the card box because then it can be a good surprise at the end, okay? If you tell the spectator that the card box is there, they'll probably expect it as something to do with the trick. If you just say it's hiding your prediction, too easy, all right? Also, remove the jokers from the deck, okay? You uh, don't need the jokers. So, yes. Um, all right, the aces set up, that's, that's what I was getting to. Um, one of them is going to be your prediction. As for the other three, here's what you're going to do. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I do have the jokers in there, but I've left some other cards. I just took two cards out, okay? So, um, just in case you're wondering there. Nine cards, in the tenth position you want one ace, okay? Then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. In the twenty-first position you want an ace, one card down, and in the twenty-third position, okay? So you're just remembering those numbers, 10, 21, 23, okay? And it, it works from there. All you want to do is force the bottom three cards. Now, you can do that in a number of ways. This, this little spread, you know, that, that slipped force of the cards, but you'd have to do it three times. All I did was I got a pinky break under those bottom, uh, over those top, those bottom three cards. You could just riffle down, get a break there. I just cut and dropped those three so that they're now on top of this packet and just do some sort of riffle force to get those three cards to be the selection and order them four, nine, and jack, assuming you deal left to right, that is, okay? You want the first part you deal to be the one with the four because the ace is just going to work itself into that position and you're also dealing the soulmates onto the bottom, okay? So you go one, two, three, and you're dealing along, that's two, three, that's four, so you stop that packet, then you go four, five, six, Seven, eight, you deal the ninth card, stops in that packet. Nine, ten, okay? Gotta tell them that whatever picture card you're using is worth ten. If not, just use a ten, alright? Then all that happens is you when you show you've got ace, 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 and your prediction was an ace, that's very impressive, okay? Then you can reveal that on the bottom of these you have the soulmates. Okay, basically it's self working. I mean I don't know to explain much from here, that's just what you do. So go rewind, have a look at the setup again, and in your card box, you've obviously got your little 25, and not going to bore you by counting, but there's going to be 25 cards here, guys, okay? You can trust me. So, hope you like that. Just remember to take out the jokers is basically the one you want to, um, that, that's the only thing that could stuff up the trick for you. And, uh, great work, Magical, me, one, two, three, two, one. Check out his channel, check out his performance. Thanks, guys. See you later.